each and every one that subscribed and tuned in for today's service. Welcome back, kids. We are so excited to spend this Sunday morning with you. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this glorious day, Lord. Thank you for bringing us back, Father God, that we can do another service with the kids, Lord. Thank you for keeping us safe in the time that you have. Thank you for continuing to keep us safe through these difficult times, Lord. May we have a blessed, blessed, blessed Sunday. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> Kids, are you ready to praise and worship? We are going to do stretches first. So I want you to go big. Yes. <laughs> and then I want you to touch the roof. Okay, and then bend down. Okay, all right. Are you ready? Let's take it away. Like we just said, today we will be talking about God's love with a little bit of a demonstration as well. Yes. And the story that we'll be doing today is about a guy called Zacchaeus living in a town called Jericho. Mm -hmm. And the story talks about how Zacchaeus was not liked in the town that he was living. He did no one, no one, no one liked him. Or barely even loved him. Huh? Why? Well, Clarissa, it was because he cheated people out of their money. So he used to charge them extra tax on what they were already paying. Oh, that's bad. And the people didn't have much then, hey? Oh, that's bad, kids. So, this 
And because of the fact that he cheated people out of their money, people didn't like him very much. Mm -hmm. And so no one could give him love. No one could show him um, as love the way that they were supposed to. Yes. And in so, sometimes we have things coming in our lives about other people that we're not sure of. So then we are skeptical about them at first. And that is why we have limited love for them. It's like our love only reaches a certain extent because of what we think we know about them. Yes. So our love is limited. Okay. When we give it out of our own, it is limited and it's kind of like this, tiny. So as you can see, not a lot is coming out. So the glass is not being filled at all. And that is how, you see, this is how perfect explanation of how limited our love is. And when we give it out of our own, it's this much. It's not a lot at all. But you know what happened next? Jesus came to the town of Jericho. Jesus came. He came. <laughs> and everybody surrounded Jesus. And this little man, little man, yes, <laughs> named Zacchaeus, wanted to get through the crowd. He was trying to get through this. And he couldn't get through. You know what he decided to do? He decided to climb onto a sycamore fig tree that was standing alongside the road. He decided to climb onto the tree just so that he can get a glimpse of Jesus. Yes. And as Jesus walked past, Jesus looked up immediately. Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down from the tree. I am going to come to your house. I'm going to eat dinner with you tonight. Mm -hmm. No one else but you. Zacchaeus came down from the tree and he was so shocked. How did Jesus know he was in the tree? Mm -hmm. How did he even know his name? Amongst all the people, Jesus chose him. Yes. Zacchaeus ran home. He ran as fast as he could. He ran home. You know what the people said while he was running home? People were like, how could Jesus go to his house? That's a cheat of a man. Yes. But you know what happened? By the time Jesus got to Zacchaeus' house, Zacchaeus was overwhelmed because he realized Jesus loved him so much. That doesn't matter what he did, how bad of a person he was, or how bad of things he did, Jesus still chose him and Jesus still loved him and God loved him. And so when we realize God's love, is so big for us that it overflows in fact. It fills us completely. And overflows even to the next person's cup. <laughs> and so that's how great God's love is. Yes. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. It's so unlimited. You can fill everything. You with. fill yourself. Yes. You fill other people. It's so, so amazing. It's so amazing. And that is how we have to remember God's love is endless. Endless. Wow. Endless, endless, endless. It doesn't matter where we come from, doesn't matter who we are, what we've done. Yes. His love is endless and He loves us yes. always, whether we know Him, whether we don't know Him. He's always there for us and He always loves us. God's love endures forever. God's love endures forever. Kids, isn't it amazing that God's love endures forever? It is limitless. It is endless. And it surrounds us. Like Aisha just taught us, God's love is endless. It's limitless. Like that big bucket, you can always go back and fill up again. Kids, today we read this in Psalm 136. And it says, God's love endures forever 26 times. Now, I think that's something to remember if they say 26 times. Let's read it. Let's say it together. It says, Psalms 136 says, God's love endures forever. Okay, do it one more time with me. It says, Psalms 136 
says, God's love endures forever. Well, kids, it's time for us to say goodbye again. But just remember, God's love endures forever. And ever and ever. You can fill yourself as many times as you want from God. You can take from Him and fill as many times as you need. Never mind. What situation you're going through, you can take from Him and fill yourself and have comfort in knowing that His love endures forever. Amen. Kids, let's pray together. God, thank you so much for every child that was tuned in today. May your love surround them and may you, your love give them comfort this week. Lord, I pray that every child will really be inspired to sit at your feet and just experience your love. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Kids, who are we? Children of God. And what are we? Blessed. Bye. Bye.